The psychology uh, behind uh, the Obama statements and misstatements, the millennial revolt leading psychotherapist, Dr. Robbie Ludwig. Great to have you here. Great to be here. Today, the president talked as if he hadn't been around for five years as he criticized the income gap, the uh, maldistribution of income. Mm -hmm. he, he was talking about his own policies and projecting, at least, the idea that he, he was blameless in it all. What it's kind of striking. madness is that, doctor? Yeah. It's, it's verbal gymnastics, really. And it's a way to deflect from his own incompetency, really. I mean, he's very good at giving speeches and, and playing to the masses. He ought to be. He gives man. the same one time after right. time after time. It wasn't my but fault. But after a while, you know, you have to come through with what you're promising. And clearly, we haven't seen that. So it's just words at this point. A great speech. Fantastic. Where are the jobs? Are people really doing better? Are they really feeling more com confident in government? No. Do you believe this man truly believes, as best you can assess, that his rhetoric, uh, his talks, uh, by, by the way, I disagree with you. I think he's a very ineffective speaker now. I think he was exciting okay. at one time. Uh, but I think he's become dull and dour, and he drones on. Uh, I don't understand why he thinks words somehow have more power and impact than uh, unemployment checks uh, and, and pink slips and, and, and people who are watching a promised mm -hmm. uh, entitlement system just blow up in their faces. Uh, we discussed this, I think it was a week ago. There's a grandiosity there, and I think Obama really believes in himself and his mission. And so he doesn't think he's failing. He really believes his idea is the right track. And if things aren't working out right now, it's not his fault. I don't know how he Who's could say that. I mean, not his. It's not his fault. Maybe it's something that he inherited. But I think this is a man who really still believes in his vision. If he walked into your office and said he's going to sit down, or lie down on your couch. I would love that. I, well, right. I, I'm not sure you would, but I, you know, <laughs> maybe. Uh, maybe the country would. I mean, mm -hmm. is, is, is help uh, available to him? I mean, do presidents have psychologists? Do they have people who say, you know, well, they have advisors. President. Well, they right? have advisors, but that's not working out too shiny you either. You have to be willing to listen. Therapy doesn't work magically. You have to be open to the idea, hey, something that I'm doing is not working. Does he strike you as a fellow who would be open? No. Mm. No. Another he problem. strikes me as somebody who is very seduced by his own ideas, his own image. He puts people in place who tells him what he wants to hear, maybe not what he needs to hear. So he's not a man who's in crisis. And usually that's what prompts change or an openness or that, a willingness to yeah. listen to different ideas. Perhaps not in crisis, uh, but certainly there is a crisis of credibility. Mm -hmm. uh, perhaps he is not in crisis, as you mean it, uh, in psychological right. terms. But certainly there is uh, the potential here for, uh, for his entire administration. Uh, his entire presidency to be enveloped in crisis. I, I think he's in denial. I mean, if we look at what's happened with health care, it's a complete mess. But it looks like Obama's in denial about this mess. And, and his only interest is making sure that he puts something a little bit more socialistic in place. He wants to create a health care system he feels is in America's best interest. Now, whether it Even is, if it's not in America's tradition. But, right. Because he believes in his own rightness, he believes in his own vision, even if it's not working out. And that's what's so problematic and scary and frightening, really. I, well, I thank you for your analysis, uh, Doctor, and as always, uh, it's great to see you. I, and I hope that, you, that Dr. Ludwig has, hasn't frightened you as but, much as she has concerned me, I'll tell you. But if Obama wants to come and talk to me, I'm open. There you go. I would do uh, it. And, and we urge you, Mr. President, pick up the phone. Call me.